it is Javi, senior contributor for BatmanOnFilm.com, with you today for a unboxing, an unboxing video of Factory Entertainment's Batman 1989 Grapple Launcher Scale Prop Replica. It is made out of solid metal and comes with its own display stand. So I ordered this recently on Batman Day because it's Batman Day and you've got to buy some Batman merch. And since I already pretty much own all the movies already and had all the action figures uh, that I needed in my life right now, I figured it was about time I bite the bullet, pull the trigger, whatever metaphor you want to use, and finally decided to buy this grapple launcher that I've had my eye on for a while. So this just arrived. Um, we'll check out the side of the box here. Uh, I'm familiar a little bit with Factory Entertainment. They've done some James Bond stuff, uh, prop replicas that I have not purchased. I almost did once. Um, that's a story for another time. And here on the back of the box, you can clearly see that this is not a toy. This is a collectible intended for persons aged 18 years and older only. So sorry if you're 15 and love Batman or if you were 12, like I was when the movie came out, this would not be for you apparently, but yeah, who really believes that? So I'll try and keep the sticker on here that's keeping it intact, I'm keeping it sealed intact, but yeah, this isn't going well. So, pop that off. There's another one on this side. That one came off pretty easy. All right, here is our first look. God, it feels a lot smaller than I would have intended. I thought it was a one-to-one -one scale, but I don't know if that is necessarily. There's a lot of shaking going on in the box too. But this is not a toy, remember folks. So it's got a clear slip case over it. We'll just get this out of the box. And all the shaking around is the base, apparently. A little tiny base, and two pieces of plastic to mount it on. Give you a good look at it there. Nice shiny classic Batman logo, not an 89 uniform logo, but the logo that was associated with all the marketing. So pretty easy. I mean, who needs instructions? You just snap these two pieces in like so. It's got a nice gloss to it. Um, and it's fairly, Really solid feeling. Uh, no instructions on the back. Wow. Uh, this is heavy. Holy cow. Uh, nice felt case. And yeah, this is definitely... This has definitely got some heft to it. Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> I may have to weigh this and find out how much it actually weighs, because man, it is solid. But I don't think this is exactly to scale based on the movie. Maybe it's a half scale prop. Um, definitely there's no moving parts. This does not flip at all. You can see it's just solidly built there. And um, oh no, you can't even take this out. The grapple itself is permanently affixed in there. But it's machined really nice. You can see where the cord is, where it would spool out from. Yeah, I really, for some reason, thought this was gonna be a full-size crop replica. Oh, but you're totally ignoring the fact that I read scaled crop replica. So, I don't know what I was thinking. I've been unable to track down the NECA version of this, which I believe fires. I have their animated series uh, grapple, but I haven't been able to find the one from 89. That might be more of a Pete Bear question to see if he has it in his toy box. But 
This one's pretty solid. It looks really good. Give you the top view there. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to display this next to the NECA 89 Batarang, but okay. I guess that is how it goes. So it's not gonna take up too much shelf space, as you can see. It's pretty it's pretty tiny. But if you want to just throw it on your bookshelf or somewhere in your Batman collection, not going to take up a whole lot of room. But yeah, this weight is something else. Like it, you could hurt someone with this thing. No joke. And I got this off a of sideshow, where I believe it was about forty-five dollars. Uh, I also used some points that I had reserved up so that knocked a little bit off of the price. So if you want one that fires or is to actual screen scale, this is not what you're looking for. But if you want a nice little display piece, I would definitely recommend, recommend it. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Hobby with Batman on Film, and we'll catch you on the next one.